Some of these prophecies, I've seen it months and a year ahead. Some I saw it just yesterday. As I'm about to speak, I'll be inspired to say more. Prophecy number one for the year 2020. The Lord said the year will be a great year. And I say, I feel to test your power. The Lord will be the Lord said the, 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 the year will be a great year. I rather say after 2020, and I have to your power. Christians all over the world will enjoy and maximize and manifest greatness. At least of all reacts of them, I say you better and you might see greatness all around. That's what the Lord said. Prophecy number two. And come say put to me, you know. One of the Ghanaian footballers. Will be hit by a tragedy. The Lord said, Let black stars look unto him. If the black stars want a trophy, the Lord told me and came to tell me to warn black stars. They have turned their back, they have turned their face against him. The Lord said, Blasters will never win any national or international trophy unless they turn unto Him, G God. I, I saw a lot of juju, I saw a lot of satanic workings in the camp of the Blasters. The Lord said, Blasters should turn back unto Him. This year, as a prophet, we learn and we grow each day. So I will be speaking figuratively. Most of these prophecies is for the spiritual mind. If you are not spiritual, you will not understand. Prophecy number three. Let's pray for our first lady. I saw attack on the heart. Prophecy number four. The Lord said, Most of the people have seen their name. The Lord has given me their full details. But I want to speak in figurative expression. One of the former fire service boss who has a link with the western central region will fall down but when we pray and he goes to God the Lord will prolong his life prophecy number five spiritually I saw guns and ammunition brought into the country Ghana and the Lord happened to ask me to ask the nation the guns that are brought into the nation Ghana and which they cleft at, at the Swiss port and Avian port let the nation listen let chiefs listen let people who love the nation listen spiritually I saw guns it is an election year I saw ammunition being brought in private jets at, at all times into the nation Ghana and declare it at the Swiss port and the advanced part of, uh, of the KIA I'm not, I don't know there the Lord took my spirit in the realm of the spirit those who are bringing guns into the country the Lord said I should ask them why are they bringing the guns into the country they are bringing guns into Ghana and declare the guns 
at the, at the sweet spot and advanced part of code KIA. I will switch point, KIA. The Lord said we should be watchful. And I see you in the home. The security status of the nation is fragile. Prophecy number six. Let's pray for the nation Togo. I saw one Jane. I don't know I'm not friend, so if I'm not able to pronounce the name, forgive me. I saw the Holy Spirit made me saw. Took my spirit to the presidency of Togo. And I saw one Jane Perry Fabri. Very close to the presidency. But they did not give it to him. The current president will manipulate the system. The nation, the nation Togo, and will rule again. He will subvert the law that it is not his will. He will subvert the will of the people. But if the person I saw, Jean Perry I don't know how many friends, Jean, Jean Perry February, there are deep things he has to do. The Lord said he's ready to show him mercy. Prophecy number seven. The Lord took my spirit into Ghana. The year 79 to the year latter part of the 2000s. I saw a former president who has lived and ruled for long. In fact, his reign can never, nobody can enjoy such a reign again. I, I saw darkness around her wife. Let's pray for her wife. The wife, she know if she's hearing me and she watch, she a prophetess prays for her. Let her I, I, I saw cl cloud of darkness. I know the name, but I've spoken figuratively. The Lord said that president, his reign. No president again in our constitution can enjoy such a reign. In fact, Assad and Chroma is the one that has reigned for long. Let's pray for the wife. I saw darkness around the wife. The Lord took my spirit into Gabon, into Congo, into a place like Cameroon. The president of Congo if we don't pray for him if he does not seek the face of the Lord the Lord was exact and explicit on this he will not complete his term prophecy number 9 I saw a man by the name Achampo holding the MPP flag I saw a man by the name Achampo holding the new patriotic party flag. I saw within the period of 8 to 16 years from now. In fact, the Lord took my spirit to parliament. And currently, I saw him in parliament. The Lord said, from 8 years to 16 years from now, he wants to use him to lead his people in this nation. The Lord said he should be faithful and build and do something monumental unto him. Again, again I know there's that person, but I've spoken figuratively. Let's pray our former Speaker of Parliament. So again, I know, but I'm speaking figuratively. Our security must be alert. There is an agenda of terrorism on Ghana. Spiritually, there is an agenda of terrorism on Ghana. Then, the next point prophecy about the 2020 general election. I saw. I saw. Hear me and hear me. My name is Prophet Nigel. I'm the leader of Prophet Hill Chapel. And the hand of Jehovah God is on me. I saw Central Region. Central region. Western region. Western region. As some man and in its enclaves. Fall massively to the NDC. 
I saw central region. Central region. I saw western region. Western region. I saw uh, the Lord took my spirit to Asamankese. And I saw all the leaves of Asamankese dry up. All of a sudden, the angel did place a flag of the NDC on the leaves. Then I saw that the leaves grew again. Uh, the Lord said, uh, MCR, do we have the last general election? Let's play before I go to the 2020 and give the percentage. Can you clap your hands onto Jesus? Let's play. Let's go to MCR. Watch this. God bless you. President John Evans Atanos. This was a prophecy I was inspired to give the year of the Lord 2016. I came out to say that abysmally MPP, abysmally MP, NDC is going to lose. I was emphatic by the leading of the Spirit of God. The, the year 2016 in the history of our politics in Ghana NDC is going to lose abysmally and indeed it came to pass in the year 2016 so let nobody think and say that I'm political I am a prophet of God and I'm inspired to do what the Lord is asking me to do 2016, I prophesied that Nana Ekufuado will be the president, and today he is indeed the president of God. Now, listen to me. I'm saying it again. 2016. 2016. As you watch the video, so we share video. No, I prophesy. Mission come. That the NDC will lose abysmally. NDC, and the issue of our politics, NDC lost abysmally. The same God and the same spirit that told me that Nana Kufuado will win. The same God and Spirit has spoken to me. We are 2020 election. The Lord said. Central Western and Asamankas will fall massively to NDC. Central Western and Asamankas will not come NDC for. Now listen. Would Let's you? pray for one man who was once upon a time a leader and is a boss at VRA. If I has he has a, he's a doctor, he has a B in his name. No question, you are a doctor. Or be on the team. I saw that he had stroke and through the stroke he would die. We will show when you stroke. I know his name, but again, I'm speaking for great things. A man that once upon a time was working for VRA. He, he is a doctor. In fact, he has B in his name. 2020 election. The Lord said we should be spiritual and vigilant. We should be spiritual and vigilant. There is, a, there is an agenda to massively rig the election and push the election into runoff by the ruling party. I'm prophesying. There is an agenda to massively rig the election and push it into runoff. The Lord said there should be absolute vigilance. The lesson 2020 is spiritual and vigilance. 
The Lord said, I should spiritually admonish the IGP. The CDS. CDS. The security apparatus. Not to subvert the will of the people. Inclusive the EC. The Lord said, I prophesy, I shall admonish them. The, IG, the IGP, the CDS, IGP, CDS, the security apparatus, and the EC, not to subvert the will of the people. In fact, I saw in the year of the Lord 2020, a man who was wearing a walletin boot in the cocoa farm. A man who was listening and let them listen. A man who was wearing a walletin boot in a cocoa farm. In fact, in the year of the Lord, September 2020, I saw that they, I'm speaking figuratively. They took him from the cocoa farm. And he sat home for about two and a half years. Into three and a half years, I saw that they jailed him. I saw a man who works with cocoa farm. In fact, the former cocoa board. Let's pray for their boss. I saw him cage. I said, not Prophecy is by the spirit of God. The Lord said, the NDC must think now. And this is one of my sincere, not the future. And that action. The NDC must plan and think now. And this is one of my many. Now when you're the Lord told me to tell the nation that he has rejected this government the Lord told me that the NDC should plan and think now the Lord said he has rejected this government the Lord said if the nation Ghana does not listen we will go back into the days of 1983 1983 I wasn't born but the Lord told me that he has rejected this government and if we don't listen Ghana will go back into the dark days of 1983 the Lord said NDC the NDC, the of NDC so not plan and think the future they should plan and think now the Lord came to me and told me that the nation should bring back Kwame Dramani of the NDC. The Lord said it should bring back Kwame Dramani of the NDC. And the Lord said true Kwame Dramani of the NDC is going to place the nation on a good place. The Lord said so when the Lord said that I prayed and I've invested I want to say here and then that every prophecy has an investment to be made in. If the end is to plan, think, and invest now, in the history of Ghanaian politics, in the history of prophetism in Ghana, I don't think that God has given precedent to any prophet. I saw the NDC win the next general election with 52.1%. I saw the NDC win the general election. If they should plan and think now, I saw Kwame Dramani win with 52.1%. Hear me and hear me. The next prophecy, the Lord said, we should pray for one actor. We should pray for one actor who has seen an actor in his name. In fact, the Lord has given him international exposure. I saw that he had been shot. He is a Ghanaian actor. He is dark in complexion. He is very handsome. I saw that he had been shot. And don't let them joke with my prophecy. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Lord said the way they shot the wife, they are planning to kill him. May he hear and work on it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.
Can I prophesy? Can I prophesy? Beloved, this year will be good for us. I thought you can say, I said this year will be good for us. I saw the Lord giving Barry women a lot of children. So if you are here watching me all over the world and the world and child, start giving birth in Jesus. Please sit down. The last prophecy. The Lord said, I saw in the eastern enclave, I saw gold and oil. I saw gold and oil. The Lord will bless Ghana this year. The Lord will bless his men and women this year. Every man of God, every believer that stands truly with God, you exhibit greatness. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless his way. And may every word that has come through his spirit come to pass. On this note, I want to wish you a merry, merry, happy, prosperous new year. I saw the end this win and I saw 52.1 percent this prophecy will come to pass the Lord said if we don't listen to what he said we'll go back into the days of 1983 let the NDC plan and think now because this year this lesson is for the NDC the Lord said which the nations will listen and bring back Pame drum money may the Lord bless his word and may every believer listen to the direction the Lord has given God bless you God bless you media houses all over the world I saw 52.1% this will come to pass 2016 I prophesied for Nana Ekufuado it came to pass this year I prophesied for John Dramani Mahama 52.1 we should avoid Reagan we should avoid runoff we should be vigilant we should be spiritual they should work hard 52.1 Say at the hand of the Lord. It shall come to pass. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody shall fire. Fire. Open your mouth and thank God. That is prophecy for the year. May the Lord bless us. Are you blessed? Please sit down. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please sit down. Praise the name of the Lord. Lift your two hands above your head.